Hello everyone and welcome back to the Odoo Function Tutorials by TechUltra Solutions. In today's video, we are going to take a deep dive into the reporting menu of the inventory module in Odoo. So I'm quickly opening my inventory module here and here we have our reporting section. Now this section includes several powerful reports that play a crucial role in managing and analyzing your stock operations effectively. So starting with the very first report in this section which is the stock report. Now the stock report in Odoo 18 allows users to track the quantity of products available in their inventory, monitor the stock movements and access the overall value of the stock. This report is essential for businesses to maintain the optimal stock levels, avoid the stockouts and reduce the excess inventory. So let's have a look at the stock report here. So here you can see you can filter it by the product category and uh, here you can see the product name the cost the total value for it and what are the incoming and outgoing shipments we also have the functionality available to import and export the report in the excel format from here next step we have is a location report so from here i'll just open the locations report and uh, here you can find the key components of the report which include the location name which displays the name of each storage location within the inventory next up we have the product count so it shows the total number of products available at each location then we have the stock values that indicates the monetary value of the stock present at each location and the last we have the stock movement which provides the information on stock inflows and outflows helping to track inventory changes over time and from here you can find the history of the locations so click on this to find the history for this particular movement or the moves created for this particular product moving to our next report which is the moves history report now the move history report in the inventory module of 0 to 18 provides user with a comprehensive overview of stock movements within their organization this report is essential for tracking the inventory changes, understanding the stock levels, and making informed decisions regarding the inventory management. It helps in understanding the flow of goods and can be filtered by date, product, or location. So let's have a view of that report too. So here we have our move history report. And here is the uh, report find. So here you can see the date, the time. The reference for this uh, particular move history created for this product and here you can see the moves uh, history from and to location here you can find the particular contact for that move history the company uh, in which this move history was created with the quantity and the status uh, is done on who was the responsible person for this moves history here we have the option for export all to manage your business and to keep a track of it in the excel format next up let's talk about the move analysis report so in o 18 the moves analysis report is a crucial tool for businesses to monitor the flow of products in and out of their inventory this feature allows users to gain insights into stock levels identify the trends in inventory usage and make informed decisions regarding the stock replenishment and management at multi-level companies so let's move to the move analysis report here in our reporting section and uh, this is the view here by using uh, this you can find the different views for it such as this is the pivot view here you can find the list view here we have a graph and, and last we have the campaign view for this moves analysis so let's talk about the pivot view here you can find for our company here are the different analysis for the moves done such as receipts quality control storage pick pack delivery everything you can find it from here choose button you can uh, select the measures you want to see uh, your at present the quantity and count is selected you can uh, see the demand as well you can see the cost share or the real quantity of it or the unit price to it or the weight of the product so accordingly you can just uh, select and have the view for the measures if you want to insert any spreadsheet you also have an option to do that from here you can manage that 
from this section you can download it and keep a track of this move analysis moving to our next report which is the inventory valuation report now this report provides an overview of the value of stock on hand at a given point in time it can be filtered by product category location or specific products allowing businesses to access their inventory's financial impact so moving to our valuation report from here so this is the list view here you can find the pivot view and have a clear clarity so here you can see we can uh, just filter it by the product categories here also you have different measures which you can select and have a view of it and you also have the insert uh, in spreadsheet option available and to download this report you can simply download it from here. Now O2 supports several inventory valuation methods which can be configured based on your business needs. So let's talk about that. So first one is the FIFO, first in first out. This method assumes that the oldest inventory items are sold first. Then we have LIFO which is last in first out. Now this method assumes that the newest inventory items are sold first. Next up we have the AVCO which is the average cost. Now this method calculates the average cost of inventory items over time. And the last we have the option of the standard price. This method uses a fixed cost for inventory items regardless of purchase price fluctuations. Now from here you can manage the view by product, cloth, CA number, product category. You can uh, filter it by the date as well by the company and you also have the option of add custom group from where you can find these many options to view the valuation report now in the last we have is our performance report which is the warehouse analysis you can see the warehouse analysis here is a private view of that and uh, here also you can find the same options available in the different other reports now concluding the video the reporting menu in the inventory module of o2 offers a wide range of reports that provide valuable insights into inventory management by utilizing these reports, businesses can make informed decisions, optimize stock levels, and enhance the overall operational efficiency. I hope this video was insightful. Stay tuned for our next videos.